Welcome to the next episode in this series of short video tutorials on how to digitize with Singer's Professional Sewwear Deluxe Embroidery Software, known as PSW Deluxe. My name is Tanya Owens, and I will be your guide through this series. This tutorial focuses on a Hyperfont automatic lettering tool. Professional Sewwear Deluxe comes bundled with 30 fonts. However, you may have some projects that you are working on where you want to use a different font. Instead of purchasing pre-made embroidery fonts, you can use the true type fonts you already have installed on your computer. With the Hyperfont tool, it is not necessary to create all of the characters for a specific font. PSW Deluxe will create only the characters you have typed in a text box. If you later use the same font again and have different characters typed in the text box, PSW Deluxe will dynamically create the new letters for you. Note, once you process a font in Hyperfont, you will not need to process it again to add different letters. Simply access the font via the lettering mode. These fonts will then display under the drop-down list on a lettering toolbar, making it easier to create additional lettering with that font in the future. Any font that you digitize with Hyperfont will be listed in a drop-down list with the TT in front of it. So, if you find a perfect display font for a monogram, your child's name, or a holiday project, you can install the font on your computer and then go into PSW Deluxe and use the Hyperfont tool to automatically digitize the letters for you. Afterwards, you will have the same flexibility to manipulate those letters just like you can with the lettering tool. If you would like to follow along with this video, the font I am using is Waltograph by Justin Callahan and it is located on the font. There are two types. I am using Waltograph42.otf. This is the popular Disney font. The link to download this font is located in the description below. To get started, Click the Create menu, then click Hyperfont. When a Hyperfont wizard displays, click the next button. First, type the text you want to create. I am typing the word Daisy. Then click the Select button to choose your font. In the pop-up box, under the Name column, scroll down to locate and select the font you want to use. Remember, we are using the Waltograph font. Then, under Style, select the styling of the font, such as Italic and Bold. No. Each font face has different styling. We will choose medium. Once you have selected your font, click the OK button to close that dialog box and then click the next button. In step two, we set the embroidery properties where we will choose how the letters will be filled. That is, which stitch recipe will be used. Your choices are fill stitch and column stitch. The fill stitch has all the stitches going in the same direction and works better with larger letters that are typically 1.5 inches or more. For instance, if you want to stitch out a very large letter in motif stitches for a pillow or to frame, you would choose fill stitch. The column stitch has variable angles like the traditional lettering. It works better for letter sizes of less than 1.5 inches. For instance, if you want to digitize a name or a phrase, you would choose the column stitch. We will select a column stitch for our lettering. After you have made a selection, click the finish button to continue. PSW Deluxe creates the outlines of the lettering and places them in a wireframe inside the lettering mode. From here, you can resize the wireframe or adjust the letter height or spacing from the top toolbar or make any changes just as you would with normal lettering. Watch the Lettering 101 and 201 tutorials for more information on how to use the lettering mode in PSW Deluxe. When you have the lettering how you want it, right click and then click Stitch It to fill the letters with stitches. Name Drop is a feature that allows you to put in multiple names at one time and output them to your machine as a single file. This saves you time in transmitting multiple designs to your machine, loading each name one at a time. To use Name Drop, Simply type all the names into the text box with each name on a separate line. Then click the name drop icon and click on enable name drop. Then click OK. Only the first name will appear on the screen. You can resize it and change it just as you would any other lettering design. To view the other names, press the page down key on your keyboard. The page up and page down keys allow you to scroll through the names. 
You can type as many lines of text per name as you like. If you want to use, for instance, two lines of text per name, type the text how you would like it. After you click the name drop icon, change the number of lines to two. Then click OK. Now the first name will come up as two lines. You can still view the other names by using the page up and page down keys on your keyboard. When you have finished with the lettering, right click and click on stitch it. The lettering will appear on the screen with each name on top of each other. Each name is separated by a stop function. This causes the machine to stop momentarily while you replace one piece on the machine with the next piece and then restart the machine. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. There are additional videos in this series, so please check my channel to view those videos. I have also written an in-depth guide called Digitizing with PSW Deluxe Embroidery Software that contains greater detail than is in these videos. You can purchase this guide from my website at www.tanyaowens.com slash PSW Deluxe. That information is also in the description below. Until next time, happy digitizing. Thank you.